Hi everyone, my name is Lucy Hamilton and I'm a Year 2 student at Anglia Ruskin University on the Chelmsford campus. I am studying Early Childhood Studies and I am also the course representative for my year group. So I thought I would talk a little bit today about the role of course rep and just to kind of explain the kind of things that I do and what you would come to expect should you take on this role in the university when you start. Um, I was always worried about being a course rep because I have a young family I am limited to the school hours that I can work um, if it's not studying which I have childcare for so when it came about that the role of course rep came up I really wanted to go for it but I was kind of apprehensive because I thought I'm not going to be able to commit the time needed however um, I spoke to somebody about it who was very knowledgeable and they told me what it entails and actually it is very doable around things like a family. The timings are quite flexible. Um, the only thing that you are 100% required to do is obviously gain feedback from your peers and then attend the SSLC meetings which are twice a year. One um, is normally about November time and then the other one is kind of end of March, beginning of April. These are the um, staff student liaison committee meetings and it's where all of the reps from all of the courses in that faculty get together with the staff members, um, the library, employability, all different aspects of the university. They all get together and the head of the department runs the meeting and everyone gets their say to speak up about any good things on their course or any problems on their course and kind of suggestions to how to make things better. Um, so as a rep, it's your job to speak to the people on your course and gain feedback from them so that you can then put it forward on their behalf in the um, meetings. So um, there, that's the only kind of one thing that you 100% must commit to. Um, but like I say, it's twice a year, so it's quite easy to... And it's normally within school hours anyway. I think my last one was one till three, so it wasn't too bad. Um, but it's the being a rep is kind of having that essential link between the students to the staff at the university and also with the student union union and it brings them all together so that everybody's working from the same page and things are happening and differences are made and acted upon to make the courses better to make the university better and your whole experience as a student much better um it's brilliant for things like um you gain employability skills um, like communication, social responsibility, self-management, team management, project management, all of these skills you're learning whilst being a course rep. And you can actually log your skills and the hours that you, you um, d use during course rep. You log it online and then at the end of your time being rep, you get um, like the, the breakdown on a skills transcript. So it's like a, a qualification almost that you can put alongside your CV when you go for a job so then they can see that you volunteered for so ever many hours and you've gained these skills from it. So it's good to have alongside your CV to prove that you have actually used the skills that are required for whatever job that you're going for. You've actually acted on them and got this certificate to prove that you've done it. So that's good. Um, at Anglia Ruskin, they have over 600 voluntary reps, which is what I do. I'm a voluntary rep. Um, I'm a course rep. You get this cool hoodie as well when you become a rep, which is lovely. Um, so yeah, over 600 um, voluntary reps at the university. So if you think all of those people are coming together through all of the different courses to make the university experience much better. i can turn my page because I've got my notes here. So... Um, the different things that you may get asked to do as a rep, uh, again, these are all voluntary, so you don't have to say yes, you just say yes if you've got the time to do it. Um, but obviously you've got your SSLC, which is compulsory, um, but you can also vote on student council um, ideas that come forward, but your vote really counts for those. Um, things like disciplinary panels um, and appeals panels, when students go through these different hearings, as a student rep, we can sit on the panel and be kind of the voice for the student um, and kind of make sure that everything that is being said and everything that is being done for that particular hearing can be understood fully by a student and from a student's perspective. Um, now, going back to time management, I like I said, I've got a family, so I can't commit to the time on campus outside of the school hours. However, I can, I've can. i still done some disciplinary hearings and some appeal hearings because you can do some of them via email. 
So all that's needed is you have to be available on a certain day um, and you have to be reachable by email for that whole day. And they will send you the details and the reports and you read through the reports and then you send back a report of your own on your findings and how, the decision that you have made based on it. So then they take your decision into consideration when they're looking for the whole hearing and appeal. So it's really nice to be able to have that input to help kind of fellow peers out when they're going through appeals. So that is something that you can do from home. So if you are if you do have the time constraints, then this will work for you as well. And you can also do things like um, helping to assist new courses to be approved to be used in the university as well. Um, so again, some of these things that you can do, you have to be on campus for and some of these things you can do via email. There are so many different uh, opportunities that you can get involved with. I, I wouldn't have time to list them all. Um, but those are just kind of a snippet of the things that you can be expected to get involved with if you was to be course rep. Um, the one thing you're not here for is to kind of be um, an individual sounding board for um, a particular student. If a student comes to you with um, a problem that is more personal than overall for the course, then obviously you are there for a support, you know, be that pillar of support for that student, but signpost them to the correct place that they will need to overcome whatever problem it is. So support them, but signpost them. Um, and the student union are fantastic at, at having that link with the reps to make sure that all students are directed to the correct place. All of the staff um, on the faculty that I'm on anyway, all the, the staff are very, very helpful, very approachable. Um, a lot of the time when issues come up on my course and my peers come to me and say, you know, X, Y and Z, nine times out of ten, I can go to whichever staff member is necessary to speak to. And it's dealt with before I even get to the SSLC meeting. So sometimes you have to use your discretion as to whether you need to raise it in the meeting or whether you can just speak to the staff members but as i say they're very approachable very helpful so a lot of the time things get sorted like that for my course anyway um but yeah you can be that support for that individual but it is not your job to kind of work out the solution to whatever problem it is that they have um, but it's nice to create that kind of sense of community within your year group i i um, am very happy with my current year group they're very vocal um but that shows me that i can then act on it to make a difference um so you have to be willing to kind of take all of these things and push for a difference as well um so yeah i've absolutely loved being a rep for the past two years and i'm hoping fingers crossed that i get re-elected again for my third and final year in september because i have really really enjoyed being a rep i love seeing kind of my voice that i've brought forward through my peers as well i like seeing what we've said being acted upon and made a difference and this has happened a hundred percent things that we have said and brought up as, as a group has been um, actioned so I know that when I speak up in a meeting it isn't falling on deaf, deaf ears it is actually being acted upon which makes us more willing to kind of bring up more things and it's not just negative things we bring up a lot of positive things as well things that we like things that we want to keep happening because they're very beneficial to our group um, praise for certain staff members that have been incredibly helpful you know it's not all doom and gloom you you bring the happiness to it as well you you praise and you bring the good stuff as well as the bad so that there's a kind of general overall feeling to the meetings and and you know the university deserve to be praised on the things that are going really really well which uh, on a lot of levels it is and it they're fantastic university to be a part of and i'm very proud to be a course rep for anglia ruskin so yeah i would definitely recommend um putting yourself forward for course rep and just having that experience of being able to utilize those skills that you wouldn't necessarily use in your course so yes i hope you've enjoyed this little roundup and any more information you can go onto the university's website and it will signpost you to the various different places so yes i hope you have a lovely day